my darlings welcome back to my channel so on today's video i'm gonna be doing a double unboxing from hermes and louis vuitton and it was quite an unexpected unboxing because these two items weren't even on my wish list video i'll link that video down below if you're interested in watching uh, because i had given up on them to be honest <laughs> i have them on my mind for a couple of months but then they were sold out, they were impossible to get and I just put them in the back and I forgot about them but I got a notification that it was back in stock and also I'm rambling let me start with the first one let me start with some eye candy so I'm gonna start with Hermes and it's let me show you oh god that orange box is everything <laughs> isn't it? It's like Christmas. Um, so, I always wanted a pair, yes, it's shoes, of Hermes sandals. Let me just take the first one out, put this down. So, each comes in its own dust bag, which is great. And to reveal, so these are the Oasis sandals in the rose doré color which is this beautiful metallic rose gold and i thought this was the perfect neutral and also the heel looks quite sensible and i can wear it either as an evening out or as an everyday sandal i think the color will go nicely with everything i'm not sure i'll show them on to be honest because lockdown my pedicure <laughs> it's in need of some tlc and um i don't think youtube wants to see that but the they are let me just get the other one i do appreciate that it has two dust bags and this is it there side by side. It's coming more gold on camera but it's really a rose gold. I think it would go with my nude bags perfectly and it's such a neutral color that it was sold out for the longest time uh, and I got them in a 35 and a half. I'm normally a 35 but I tried them on and they do fit me quite nicely so I'm quite happy that well I didn't size up half a size it was the only size available and now I believe it's only available in 40 and 41 and this color must be very popular because I was hunting them for a long long time and like I said it was always sold out and I just got lucky I guess let me just check the receipt to tell you the price. These were 560 euros and MS packaging is everything. I wrote myself a little <laughs> note because why not? And it says, let me see if that will focus with all the lights and everything. And moving on to Louis Vuitton and if the Hermes sandals were such a surprise to be available in stock this when my essay sent me a text saying are you interested in this bag I was like what <laughs> I am I've been interested in this bag for the longest longest time but I was gonna pay over retail price and play the reseller game that everyone or every brand seems to be doing and well let me stop rambling and show you what i've got oh it is a bit stuck that's the ribbon off and to reveal dun, 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 dun. comment down below if you can guess what i got this bag has been so so popular and so hard to get that i never thought i would have it and I will show you. Let me just put down the box here. So the tiniest dust bag ever. That might give you a hint to reveal. 
Dun, da, da, da. The Speedy Nano from Louis Vuitton. And the reason why I was so surprised is first, this bag has been sold out everywhere. Second, I only wanted one if it was made in France, which mine is, my essay made sure it was, let me see if that will focus there. Call me, call me a snob, call me what you like, but I want my canvas pieces from Louis Vuitton. Well, wishing and hoping every single thing from Louis Vuitton to be made in France because as a collector of sorts, I would one day like to be a proper handbag collector and connoisseur and I would love for my entire collection of Louis Vuitton to be made in France as I would like my entire Chanel collection to be made in France but if I really like it and if it's the only one available I might just buy it made in Spain or in well in Europe you don't find many made in the US anyway so I ramble I ramble too much I was worried that this would be too much of a little doll like bag but no it's stunning it even fits through my like arm quite easily and it's going to be more of a top handle anyway and the strap like we all know it's a big con or fold of this bag it's not removable but I do intend to wear it mainly cross body I will do a review on it if you're interested after I wear it and experience with the bag a little more but so far I find it really cute you can like double the strap and hold it like that it's just it's the cutest thing I've seen pretty much every single YouTube video out there about this bag and how much it fits and the strap situation which I'm gonna tell you if it doesn't work for me I'll probably cut it and just buy an adjustable strap to be honest I'm not gonna keep it if it doesn't work for me and I don't care about resale value because I'm gonna use this bag I was never a speedy fan uh, I'm more of a never fool but since I saw this one I was like I have to have it and I'm trying to get a multicolor one preferably in white but the prices are ridiculous. So, talking about prices, and just to wrap up this video, I bought this two weeks ago. I, I want to say, yes, two weeks ago, and it took a while to get to me because of lockdown and all of that. And I asked my essay if I could buy another one because I wanted to gift another one. And I bought it for 810 euros and it's now two weeks after 890 euros so it went up in price 80 euros and a two weeks or less than two weeks time um ouch <laughs> so now i'm thinking if i'm gonna get the second one or not um get order hopefully it will come back available and i'll be in on the waiting list like I was with this one but yes I'm fascinated with it also a little extra information about the speedy I've been trying to get a speedy 25 in the monogram for the longest time like I mentioned I'm not a speedy fan or I wasn't until everyone stopped wearing them and now I'm interested and I want them classic speedy not the bandolier and it's impossible to get i've been waiting for it as long as i've been waiting for this one and i got the nano speedy which is so sought after and so hard to find before i got the speedy 25 that was quite surprising to me um, what's going on can can people explain what's going on with louis vuitton and the canvas items um, are they making them harder to get 
so they're not as popular. I don't know. Do comment down below your experience in trying to find items that are really hard to get. Do you have the Nano Speedy? Is it on your wish list? What's your experience with Hermes shoes? Are they comfortable? They look like they are. I don't know. Should we wait patiently for items that are hard to find? Should we play the reseller and personal shopper game? I had given up on these two items and I'm so so happy that they finally made their way to my collection. I also have the Prada crystal bag in white on my wish list, and apparently it's impossible to get. So I think I'm just gonna patiently wait. And if it has to be mine, I will. Fingers crossed. <laughs> And that's it, my darlings. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, do give it a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, hit the bell, all that jazz. And I'll see you, my darlings, in the next one. Mwah.